Nader raising photography to the height of art is by a French artist named Henri Daumier. And he is in this particular uh, piece doing a lithographic print, which I will get into later in the video. Uh, but I do wanna be really clear that Daumier is our artist of the piece. And the subject of the piece is Nader, who is a photographer. So the print itself is on the left. That's the art piece by Daumier. And a photograph of Nader in his hot air balloon is on the right. That's just a little added something so you could see the real deal as well. So again, I mentioned that Nader, our subject, is a photographer. He was known for uh, his photographic portraits of famous people like Jules Verne, the writer. And he's also known for taking aerial view uh, photographs of cities from these hot air balloons, which was a new thing. And can you imagine being able to see where you live, a city from high up above, no one had ever done that before or seen really your city from that vantage point really. Um, so in a way, Daumier, our artist, is poking fun at a little bit because, you know, honestly, a photographer in a balloon having to carry all his equipment with him and he was known for his top hat. You know, check him out again. Uh, it's quite the character and quite the image. So people made fun of him for that. And people were kind of mocking him like Daumier in this art piece because they're threatened also by the image and by his talent and his innovations. The other thing that is threatening is, and this, this lithographic print was done after a court ruling in France in 1862, ruled that photography could be considered a fine art. So now painters are threatened by not just the, the existence of photography, and you know, people wanting their photographs, portraits, and you know, taking pictures of landscapes. Now photography is faster. You can make copies of a single image and it's now classified as a fine art. So I think Daumier is using satire similar to like what Hogarth who with Tete a Tete is doing, using humor and showcasing kind of the craziness of photography and the links they have to go to, to elevate the photographic arts to the level of painting and sculpture. Now, um, the process of photography basically is this particular process that um, Nader used was called collodion. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Gl uh, glass plate uh, photography, where um, a lot of prints could be made it was more, it had more options than the daguerreotype, but it requires a lot of work and you have to get it done within a certain amount of time, about 15 minutes. So you had to bring your portable dark room with you. And so that's part of what I think Daumier is trying to point out. It's like, hey, this, this whole process is very scientific and a little bit over the top and he's just kind of ridiculing and poking fun a little bit at, at Nader for having to do all of this. Uh, so that's something I just wanted you to be aware of. It's not that you have to know and remember the name collodion glass plate negative photography, um, but you can just know that the process he used was faster than a daguerreotype was um, you're able to make copies unlike a daguerreotype print, but you needed time and you had to do it right away and it required a portable darkroom. So in terms of content, one, we have to talk about a lithograph and that's definitely gonna be a new vocab term. And so one, to know it's a printmaking technique, so you can make copies. And it's lith meaning stone, remember from back in the Stonehenge days. So you take a piece of limestone and you draw your image on uh, the stone with wax and then you apply ink to that wax, that the wax is gonna hold the ink there and you can then just put the paper and press down and continually make more images until the ink runs out or your images 
are not as quality because they're not as dark. Uh, and so here you've got an image of part of Paris, the city, and you can see the word photography written in French over some of the images or some of the buildings. And it's two things. Photography written all over the buildings shows the pervasiveness of photography now. Everybody wants to do photography or have their photograph taken or own a photograph. So it's just kind of like overtaking everything. So that shows, I think, Daumier's frustration with it, too. And it's a little bit of mocking, too, because if you see Nader is on the on the balloon. Uh, and it's I think he had a store like his studio, actually, with his name written in huge letters on the front. And I think also that Daumier is poking a little bit of fun at that as well. And then adding on to it, you know, you've got the balloon kind of tilting over. It almost looks like Nader's going to fall over. And you know, his top hat, which is so classically Nader, is falling off. He's got all this camera equipment and he's not paying attention. Kind of shows him to be a little bit of a goof. Uh, was he? Probably not. Was he a little bit eccentric? Yeah, probably. Um, but, you know, it... it, it the achieve, he achieved a lot of interesting, innovative imagery. And so this is just showing that that kind of um, this belief on the on the point on the part of like printmakers, painters, sculptors, that photography was just an unwelcome addition to the art world right now. And it's because it's new. It's threatening and it's really con causing these other artists to have to change in order to survive. So there's this kind of headbutting going on between the two worlds, photography and the other world of fine art. And I wanted, I had to show you some of Nader's uh, photographs. And so you can see a little bit of an aerial view of Paris with the Arc de Triomphe. Uh, in the image and uh, you know, just seeing your world from a different perspective must have been really exciting. So you have to give it to him for that. So what I'm going to do for function and formal quality. Function, definitely commentary, like social commentary, but specifically to, you know, the art world and the, <clears throat> the really him thinking that pho photography should not be a fine art and social commentary how photography is everywhere and then going along with that i think that um for formal quality you could do emphasis and repetition because the emphasis on the word photography the repetition of that just is pointing out the popularity of it at the time. So I think those two things would work well for formal qualities and function. Um, but I think Nader deserves uh, this kind of focus and maybe probably not in this kind of satirical way. I understand it to some degree, but I highly recommend going and checking out some of Damier's portraits. They're really lovely and uh, high quality and reveal, I think, something about the personality of the people sitting for his photographs. And you got to give it up to somebody who is willing to take risks and to push art in a new direction. But it does cause others to feel a bit threatened and to kind of lash out. And I think Damier is doing that a bit here with his lithographic print. So again, it's Nader raising photography to the height of art. Uh, and you know, no pun intended, or pun definitely intended here, by the French artist Henri Daumier. <laughs>